Hey, this is Tony Blood That's Gaming. I'm checking out a game called Atma. This is a cool little game with some really cool art in it. Rachel's here with me. Hello. And uh, she's going to be here doing some of uh, the talking stuff and the reading stuff while I do some of the... The controller stuff. Yeah, the controller You part. got the controller stuff. I've got the word stuff. Yep. We're a good team. Yep. Play. Yep. I think that's all I need to click. All right. This I, looks really cool. I'm really yeah. excited to see it. Yeah, I have played through some of this, so I am familiar with the game, but it's got multiple different storylines, so this is going to be kind of cool. I'll show you one of the storylines. It's not very long either, and it's got some cool uh, it's got some cool concepts to it, actually. Urjas, powerful artifacts dictating the balance of this world. They're forged by guardians, wise protectors responsible for world peace. Reaching a certain level of mastery, they yield their power to create their own Urja, thus becoming elders. I know I'm butchering that, but that's okay. You go by the name of Shia. Deeply in love with Atma, you traveled the land with him for years, fulfilling your duty as two young guardians. One day, Atma attempts to make Urja per prematurely, even though it's forbidden. His wish is to gain power to grant your world safety. You trust him in his judgment, or you fear for his safety and try to stop him. So I chose last time when I played through this. I'll let you choose this one. Ooh, okay. Um, well, I think... If you love someone, you should trust them, so trust him in his judgment. I chose the other one. But he gets suddenly struck by a flash of light. Fate has punished him for his eagerness. He is trapped between the world of spirits and the real world for eternity. He now lies between life and death. You hold his limp and cold body in your arms for hours, still hoping that he will open his eyes. His foolishness just created a rift allowing spirits to reach the material world and disrupting its balance. Despite your still vivid pain, now more than ever, you have to focus on your duty as a guardian. Oh, again, I chose last one. I'll let you choose. All right. Uh, afflicted by your loss or refuse to acknowledge your pain. Um, well, if you have a duty to protect the world, that's kind of where you need to be. You have to refuse to acknowledge your pain so that you can continue on with your duty. Okay. Atma. Atma. I like the art in this. It is so cool. I'm mm -hmm. loving it so far. So one of the things that was cool is some of those scenes I could actually like move around a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah. Here, I'll read the, his part. My okay. love. I'm so sorry I left you. I only wanted the best for this place. But I have been punishing. I punished for my vanity. I feel like it's been an eternity since I've been struck, stuck between the living and the dead. You know I'll always love you, but I need to leave this place for good. And I need your help for that. Seek for the keys and memories I shared with my closest ones. Seek for the ornithologist. So, I had a problem saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you did fine this time. I love you. It's ornithologist. I could not, like, when I was first playing through that, I could not say ornithologist. Find the bird dude. Reach Tinkanya Village. Yep, so the, the quests are in the top left, and I can see those there, and then that's my health in the top left. Okay. And so press B to activate the menu. Ooh. Yep, so this is basically the core concept of the mechanics of the game. And you hold right trigger to be able to draw. Oh, that's cool. And you're making the the symbols. Well, this is there's going to be more that comes open to this, but yeah, essentially right now. Okay, so ooh. Lightning mantra. Yep. I did take a hit from that though. Dumb birds. <laughs> All right. Ooh, is there a hidden spot down here? Oh, oh no, cool. that's a health re regen thing. Oh. Where's my health at? It's still full. So it seems like you need to get your health knocked down below one of those circles. So there's three red bars. Yeah. That needs to be knocked all the way down for it to actually go away. Oh, okay. That's what I was going to ask. I thought by getting hit, you'd lose one of those. No, it's like um, you only completely lose it when it's low enough. It's a really expensive way to keep doors. I have to break it every time I go through. <laughs> You're just unlocking it. You're not breaking it. No, like the jewel's broken. Oh. Do you see that? Yeah. Glowies. I don't know what that actually is. Are they friend or foe? Friend or foe? 
or friend or foe. <laughs> I like the water, look of the water in this. Mm -hmm. The waterfall. Oh, that is really cool. That is quite a village. Yep. Hey guys. Link all the spirits to the pillar to seal them back inside. There's some new added stuff. Oh, that's cool. You put the spirits back. Yeah. Come here, Shia. I want to show you something. Over there, you can see the path that leads to the ancestor's tomb. It means a lot to me. If I fail to to my quest, I want to be buried in there. You won't fail. Um, maybe, maybe not. There's like multiple endings to this. <laughs> Actually, there's things in this that I did not see. No, uh, maybe because of the choices I made. Possibly. Because, um, yeah, it, maybe that changed enough of it. Hello, Shia. It's nice seeing you around here. We faced some trouble since you left, but the ornithologist and Navika helped us. They might be part of the elders now. They still know a trick or two to get rid of malicious spirits. Oh, you're looking for the ornithologist? He's probably by his house to the north. I've been told he wanted to see you. Nice hat, dude. Got a really cool hat. Yeah. Seems heavy. Yeah. Seems like something you wouldn't wear all day. It's kind of like, isn't that the cost for beauty? Yeah, maybe that's how <laughs> they view beauty in this village. Yeah, I, I, uh, I think we're the the Naviv. Oh, okay. That's our tribe name. So. No, no, the from. Uh, um... Oh, from Avatar. Yeah. The Navi. Ah, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. See, look at me. Totally look like it. You quite do. This kite's so much fun. My dad told me the ornithologist has the power of wind. He can make it fly higher and higher. But he's busy right now. He won't play with me. I want to know my... I want my own kite too. But my grandparents told me to care... To take care of my alpacas. Alpacas? Must be alpacas, maybe? Yeah. I should go now. But it seems so fun. Go tend your Where are they? I don't see the. I don't either. Hmm. Well, that's. Oh, there they are. <laughs> I need the other ones. There it is. Got it. Oh, is that? Yeah, it's an alpaca. Yeah. We're leaving today for a raid. There is a village a few miles away that is being threatened by lost souls. Be careful. Lost souls like to play with your perceptions, twist your memories, swing your mood. Fighting as a pair, you must trust each other and never lose track of your bond. By twisting memories, you mean spirits could diminish my feelings for Shia? Ha! Spirits are capable of many things, but love can be the best defense against their tricks. Then I have nothing to fear. And that's an alpaca. Love shouldn't stifle your true self. You don't need to always support his reckless decisions. Opa also had quite a temper when we were young. But I managed to channel his energy by staying firm and calm when things would get out of hands. Oh, I can just... Oh, that's what a couple is for, to balance each other's weaknesses and overcome difficulties. I didn't know I could hit it speed along. So don't forget to always listen to your inner voice. I think it's supposed to be an older voice, so it's slower speed. I think that's... Oh. Like that. <laughs> the elderly giving us good advice. I love the alpacas. Yeah. What up, furry guy? <laughs> Back in the day, we used to breed all sorts of animals. 
Because of Atma's terrible impatience, nature seems to slowly lose vitality. Thankfully, the remaining urges are keeping the balance of our ecosystem stable. Oh. See, Atma did a bad thing. A bad he must have had a good thing. reason, though. He's like, just he, impatient. Yeah, but he obviously did it for a good for a reason that he thought was important. Huh, I have to keep practicing. These times are dangerous, Shia. I miss the old days where we could live without worrying about the future of our kids. Time flies. It feels like my old bones aren't used to the mountain breeze anymore. Maybe if the brazers were reignited, it would warm me up a little bit. Go get a, a thing to light a fire then. Okay. Or just get a blanket. Like. I don't. Yeah. I'm back to. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, I circled back around. There's no like running in this. I see that. You're kind of just taking your time. Yeah. Patience just is a virtue. This. Up the stairs we go. That's a lot of stairs. These people must have really nice calves. <laughs> what are you? That's an ornithologist. See, can't say it. Oh, yeah. Shia, it's good to see you, my friend. So Atma spoke to you. I see. His journey to the spirit world didn't go as expected, and he is in need of our help. That's how I imagine he sounds. He probably does. He doesn't deserve to be stuck between worlds. Atma, Atma was my friend. I'll help you. I'm going to let you enter my mind. There, you'll find what you're looking for. You may take a look in the village before we start. Come back to me whenever you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> That's what all ornithologists sound like. Yeah. He's, uh, he's very um, eclectic. That's what the bird outfit's for. It's not that he's a bird or part bird. It's just that he's eclectic. He's not actually part bird. He's, is he wearing a bird mask and he's purple with feathers then? I think so. Oh, okay, that's fair. I, th I think, like... I think it's that, like, everybody here is kind of, like, naturally dressed up. I don't think anybody is another thing. Mm, I see what you're saying. He does have birds on him, though. He does. He's an ornithologist. Or maybe, maybe he has a bird with a bird mask on. He looks pretty bird-like to me. Maybe. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. You ready? Then let's begin. Focus and let me guide you. <laughs> Into your mind we go. My soul is open, but you're still a long way from reaching Atma's memory. By entering into my soul, you will now have access to a new special power into your mantra. Join me up there, Shira. I forget I can hit A and actually speak along. <laughs> Join me up there, Shia, Shia, and see for yourself what is into this memory. I'm waiting for the thing to complete. Odd, oddly. All right, now I have a new thing. And I can do. Ooh. Now you control the wind. Yeah, now I'm like, uh. As you can see, Shia, your new mantra will allow you to blow anything that stands in your way. And with this power, you'll be able to join me. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, bad cloud. I always hit the wrong button. And it's on B. I don't know why. That for me is just... I, I want to hit something different. Mm. Yeah, B is usually like the cancel. Yeah, and it's uh, for the activation on that. That really throws me off. It also says right trigger to activate. Right trigger does work, but also uh, A works. Which okay. I find is more intuitive to work next to B. Hit B and then A instead of B in the right trigger. Nice. Yeah, well, I kind of already knew that, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at me solve that problem. Uh. Ooh, got a little bit more bright right here. Yeah, it's like a birdcage. 
It is like a bird cage. I didn't even recognize that. That's like a giant bird cage. It is. You weirdo. I understand your need to always want the best for the village, but there is boundaries you can't cross. There are things in the world you can't des desecrate. Yama, got a fate, won't allow it. Rules aren't absolute. Yama will see through my intentions. Or is it say intentions? I hit A on accident. I've been there before. We always want to do what's best for everyone. But you will only achieve that by standing humble and true to your vows. It's all about patience. Hey, listen to that, dude. <laughs> Guardians aren't here to gain power, but only to protect. Ah, screw, screw patience. patience. <laughs> I hit A on accident because I want to go faster. I want to take action. Yama will punish you, as he is the only one, only judge of the urges, in life or in death. Whatever you do, be careful and think about Shaya. Shaya is stronger than you think. No challenge will disarm her. This is the last memory I have left of Atma. In other words, what we call a key of memory. A sort of immaterial artifact that can help the lost souls meet their final path. I hope this will help you. But before that, my child, I need to ask you for your help. The temple that holds my urges has been corrupted by some malicious forces. I didn't really realize that you'd be talking <laughs> this much. <laughs> the urges resting there is full of a great amount of energy. It must not be let defenseless. It has to be protected at all costs. It is your duty as the guardian to protect the urges of the, your elders. Go and restore the damaged artifact. See you in the waking world. This is just your voice now. This is just who you are. <laughs> <laughs> this is life now. You are the ornithologist. I'm going to make plants do things. No, that's not the... You're going to make plants do things? Isn't that what the ornithology is? No, ornithology is birds. Oh, you're right. Birds. Mm. I was, Which that, is why he's a makes, bird man. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I'm sure it does. <laughs> makes a whole lot more sense. <laughs> you know, I was like, what, what are you doing with plants there, guy? And he's like, birds, birds. It's I look birds. like a bird. I have birds everywhere. Yeah. I don't know where you're getting plants from. I <laughs> literally dressed like a bird right now. <laughs> I remember this guy wanted fire. Yes. Oh, we can use the wind to make more fire. Yep. I didn't actually do this one before. Let's see what happens when we make fire. Incredible. Oh, no, it's you. Incredible. It does make a difference. Fire warm. My bones are shaking with joy. You could have went and stood over where the original fire was, dude. Almost like there never was any breach, any haunting spirits, or any lost souls. No, you made him happy. Is that her? I thought it was a him. I think it's a him. Huh. I have to keep practicing. These times are dangerous, Shia. Yeah, it's a him. That's uh, what we read before. Yeah, I thought you said her. No, I think I said her. I misheard you. All right. I think the other one is a her, the one with the really long pointy nose. Five. They're actually all digital, so I can't make this in reality. <laughs> Neither. None of the above. Yeah, and then we have the bird, which is, he's, or it is often in its own category. Hey, whatever. It would be asexual. It would be a... Orn orn ornithology. No, no, like, a, it's not asexual. It would be uh, a... They, they don't, they're... They're not hims or hers, they're video game <laughs> characters. They're birds. They're birds. It's for the birds. Do I have to break another door? I think so. Nope, just gotta hit A. <laughs> <laughs> Fire! You light the temple on fire? Yep. 
Find the way to open the door to reach the Urja. Oop, wrong one. It's at the top, but it's a little bit hard to distinguish. See the squares in the wind? Yeah. That looks very familiar. I remember that symbol looking thing from some game and I don't remember what it was. Huh. Oh, you have pathways. Yep. Got one to the left, one to the right. Which Take one a shower. <laughs> there we go, now I'm gonna go. Um, loading. More stairs. Yeah, that. Oh! Let me jump a little bit, actually. <laughs> I don't even know the. Oh, this was another one over here, actually. Um. Floppity floppity. <laughs> It's like one of those uh, things at a train station you have to push your way through kind of thing. I don't think you're supposed to push your way through those. Well, once you bought your ticket and stuff, you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean. That's called illegal. It's one of those things that you turn, turnstile. It's a turnstile. Yeah, you're not supposed to just push your way through those. Well, after you've purchased whatever it is you're needing to purchase, you can Are you telling me all through. along you've been stealing <laughs> tickets to the train station? No. All these years. You know, the ones that you have to, like, they, they really don't want to turn. You really have to hit those things <laughs> I just really ended up jumping over them. No, I'm just kidding. I think I've been on a train all of, like, twice in my entire life. You stole it twice? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, I need that one. I'm going to block myself again. Oh, that yeah. was dumb. <laughs> I like the paint look too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's got an interesting mix of kind of that painted look and pixel art. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, Moon Hunters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is another one of our uh, top choice games. Top choice. Top best favorite. It's one of games. our favorite multiplayer games. Oh, oh. Bad bugs. Bad birds. Bad birds. Up, up. They freeze once you get them, but... There you go. I kept missing that guy. All right, they didn't do that much damage. Oop. Guess I'll get those two. <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Just jump over it if you don't, just like I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if it doesn't work, I got this little trick. Step over it. Yep. That's right. Don't actually do that, kids. I mean, Rachel does, so... <laughs> no, no, don't. Lead by example, maybe. <laughs> I hope that's... Uh... So if they're adults, it's fine if they do it? Adults should know better. I guess that's making so pretty big assumption. So you're saying that kids, kids wouldn't know better? That looks like a Babylonian god. <laughs> don't change the subject. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about the train turnstiles any longer. No more. Yeah, this is like a few different mix of cultures. There's um, a little bit of Egyptian, a little bit of kind of uh, um, like South American, uh, Mayan, Aztec sort of thing. Looks like there's a few different mix of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's kind of cool that they've pulled out a lot of different pieces for it. I got a walking stick from... Where's that Every old stick person from? ever. I'm not old. Well, walking stick for old people since forever. Wow. Like, I guess anyone can have a walking stick. You don't have to be old to have a walking stick. Young people can't have a walking stick? I guess, sure they can. Don't Heck, you I've have got a, a walking stick. That's what I was going to say. Don't you have a walking stick? I know, and I'm old. You're not that old. <laughs> Maybe your definition for old people is the problem. Yeah. Ooh, those are aqueducts. That's interesting. Aqua. Aqua. Aqueducts. So like when we play duck game? Aqua ducks. An aqua yeah. Duck. <laughs> yeah. An aqua duck gets uh, 
gets water. Yeah. Water. That was actually fire. Water. <laughs> you set the boat on fire? Nah, again. Oh. I know the solution. It's hard to unknow something when you, once you know it. Yeah. The more you I know. I see here and go, oh, look how surprised I am. Like, fake surprise, but... <laughs> The game's worth seeing. Anyways. I'll be genuinely surprised for you and for everyone else. What's a for you? Oh, that's a health thing. I'm already at full. You're doing awesome. You need a walking full? stick. Yeah, I'm full. It just told you you were full. Wouldn't the walking stick go through the holes in the walk path? Not if you the... don't put them in the holes on the walk path. <laughs> like... It requires a <laughs> certain amount of uh, precision. Yeah. This one actually took me a minute to figure out. You have to burn the reeds? Oh, hmm. there's more over there, too. Yeah, I have to. Just the, the pathing on it. it. Took me more than a few minutes. Don't hit the chimes, either. It calls in stupid birds. Oh. My primary problem that I had last time is when I lit it, when I burnt that, it didn't like this thing, and it took off without being lit. Oh no! And then... it looks like it's going better this time. There's a little bit of a timing thing here. They're called matches. Hmm? You need them. Matches? Yeah. Like or you. lighter, or, you know. Or learn how to cast fire. She's not actually casting fire, she's casting wind. No, I'm saying, but learn how to cast oh, yeah, fire. Oh, yeah, I suppose she could. Yeah, that would also work. I got wind and lightning, or just shock some. Like, <laughs> lightning is essentially high energy, fire is just a, a representation of high energy, so. Birdman. <laughs> I am Birdman. It's Batman's uh, lesser known cousin. No, it was actually a real superhero. Birdman. I'm sure it was. You could tell me literally anything as a superhero and be like, yeah, I'm sure it is. There could about like, was. Like, uh, you know, purple cereal man. I'd be like, yeah, makes sense. That was probably on the tick. <laughs> <laughs> purple cereal man would have been a, that would have totally been a tick, uh, super villain, actually, probably. I don't know. Purple cereal. Purple cereal man. Purple, it's hard to say that. Purple <laughs> cereal man. He would have a purple outfit, but then he'd have glitter that looks like the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, like sugar, you know what I'm saying? You try to throw it at people. And he'd throw it at people to blind them? Yeah, see? Completely plausible. There was, um, what was that movie uh, where the, the, the fake superheroes, like the bowling ball guy and the Mr. Rage and, oh, it was the one uh, um, to where, um, it was like they were all the, these people that wanted to be superheroes, but they weren't really superheroes. Oh, what was the name of it? It had Ben Stiller in it. Where he, he got like super angry all the time. <laughs> I don't think I know what you're talking about. It's like Mr. Angry or something like that. It was it was a um, it was a kind of funny movie. Huh. Urge's Shrine. Yeah, oh, that's where I need to... Absorb Hava's Urja or restore it? Well, he sent us here to restore it. So I think there's something that I didn't understand. I don't know if, I don't know if it was lost in translation. To where essentially on the right side, you're going with Hava's side. On the left side, you're going with Atma's side. Ooh, okay. So you got to choose between Atma and Hava. Oh, oh. Okay, well, I'm going to choose Atma. We're going to go to the left. You say you're going to absorb the... Yeah, we're going to absorb the Urja. Okay, I went the other way. I'm just making every opposite choice, aren't I? Yeah. Well, no, the, the one uh, to protect. I, I did, I did okay. say that one. Well, we'll just find out. That's fine, happens. because I've already seen the other ending, so it'll be kind of... Uh-oh. Turn to the village. Oh, we're going to have some people so angry at us. Yep. That's okay. I'll, uh, after the recording, I'll tell you the other ending. I'll let the people that <laughs> are watching it, if they want to see the other ending, they can go through and play it. 
This is free, by the way, so if you want to play it, um, just push some buttons. <laughs> push some buttons and uh, poof, there you go. Atma. You hear that? Ooh. Ooh. Was that not there before? <laughs> no. This looks bad. Look at the, it's, the land's corrupted. Yeah, it's all corrupted. Yeah, oh, everything's dark. Oh, Shia, you made the right choice. Don't think so. I'm, I'm questioning the choice I've made. Yeah, I think you, you made the bad choice. Oh, oh. Birds! Yep. Skeletal birds. Come on, come on, come on. There he is. Ah, oh, I need to get those two. Got nice. Ya. Interesting little combat thing there, like mini fight sort of thing. Mm-hmm. It's a, yeah, it's an interesting mechanism for interaction. I know our love is stronger. I can't wait to meet you again, my love. Was this trickery? Am I being tricked? We shall see. Oma is really moved about our alpacas. I don't know how to cheer her up. I miss the abundance of the old times when food kept flowing and days were warm. I don't know what's happening. But I hope it will end quickly so I can get back to work. Shia, one of our alpacas died a few hours ago. Maybe it's time for us to leave this place. Ooh. Uh-oh. Things aren't things aren't going well. Okay, it's the same guy thing. Again. This guy didn't say anything. Shia, the ornithologist left us. He died without warning. And Navika told me the corruption gained entirely the Hava temple. Whoa, did you see that? Whoa, yeah, I did. Dark days are yet to come. I sent the kids back home and we gathered to discuss the crisis. Well, we, like, missed part of something, too. Yeah, that was not English. Hmm. Oh, and then... Oh, yep. Wait. Something weird happened there. Oh, I'm still, like, in the menu. It's just not visible. Oh, weird. Oh. Hey. Oh, no, did we break something? Ah. Uh-oh. Oh, noes. Um, kind of stuck. Oh no, I clicked it again. There we okay, go. Okay, whew. Um, I think I go this way. Let's go find Atma. Come now, I'm waiting for you in my tomb. Come now, you're a rock star. No, you just <laughs> ruined the moment! <laughs> You had to put Smash Mouth Whoa. in there. Oh, I'm running. I like the running. Oh, there's one more. Two more. Two more. Three more. Got him. Keeping all that power for yourself. You really think this will help bring you bring Atma back? See? Naviv. Oh, yeah. Or Nav is it Naviv? Navi. Navi. How foolish of you. Prepare for your punishment, young guardian. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I see you decided to... Oh. It's the same thing. Oh, okay. I was just trying to see if I uh, talked to her or something else happened. Okay. Ooh, the jewels are white now instead of... Blue. Yeah. It's not it's healthful. Yeah. It's not corrupted here. Um, yeah, it still is. Everything's a little bit deader. Deader? Yeah, it's not quite as bad, but it's it's a little bit off. Atma's tomb. Dot dot dot. Why does he <laughs> say dot dot dot? That's weird. It's now time to face our fate. I'm waiting for you inside. Join me, my love. Got a huge tomb. He does. Guess as a guardian, you're treated special. Technically, we're a guardian as well. We are. 
Or Garda Dan. Guard, Guardy, Guardy Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. So, here you are, Shia. Ooh, that's a different face. It is. A young, humble, and promising guardian. But, it seems like your loss afflicted you in a way I would never have imagined. You defied death and destroyed nature's balance, which you swore to protect. And what for? In the faint hope you'd become powerful enough to bring your lover back? I, Yama, god of fate, am the only one who can draw the lines of each creature's destiny. Watch me wipe out everything that matters to you as my divine punishment. Uh-oh. Ooh. I don't think okay, so, Yama. it's Yama. the same fight. Different story. Come here, come here, come here. You can split up. I need you not to split up. So it's the same fight, looks like. Okay, so you still fight Different reasoning Yama. behind it. Huh? You still fight Yama at the end. Um, well... Kinda. Ooh, fireballs. Okay. Go that way. Oh, I'm not gonna get that yet. There you go. Got him. Ooh. What got me? I'm not sure. I lost a health thing. You did. I don't see what hit you, though. Ooh, those guys, they hurt. I'm, I'm not hitting them, though. Huh. Oop, wrong one. Ooh, three skulls. Four. Four. Watch out. Yep, trying to. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, he, uh, is he down? Hmm? Need to hit you with something. Oh, it's the poisons. Oh, you can't move for a little bit. Once you start that cast. Okay. Oh, they all grouped up. Yep, um... Got him. Nice. Ooh, I stopped getting out of the way in that one. Yeah, it was still a little close. Can't hit him yet. What am I gonna get? Okay, I think I can get you now. There's Atma. Ooh. You took down Yama, the god of death. Fate. I think in Hitty, it's also the god of death. Was it? Not. Yeah, if I remember correctly from a long time ago. Why waste the sacred urge in such a desperate attempt to bring you back? Do I really need you, my eternal lover, to live what's left of my life? I'm sorry I destroyed what we protected together. I love you, Alma. And there's one of the endings. That oh, was wow. very different. Like, it was the same fight, but a very different ending Ooh. than the way I went. All right, that was really cool. What yeah. a neat little game. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool little short story. There's multiple different endings, and uh, I like the art in it. It's kind of cool. It is. And the, the, the combat style between going in the mantra thing for the combat is very unique feeling. All right, we'll see everybody again next time. Bye.